one of my most recent important projects was working on the adoption of IDB. So we were having availability difficulties related to the stack. Um, it was particularly manifesting in our largest, most critical services. So I'm Xander Hill. I'm a principal engineer at Plaid on the platform side of the organization. I've been there about three and a half years. Um, one of my most recent important projects was working on the adoption of IDB at Plaid, which has been the last uh, year and a half of my life from conception to the current point of progress that we're at right now. And as far as what Plaid does, um, Plaid is a fintech company that forms an infrastructure layer for the rest of the fintech development community. So we're a backbone that makes some of the capabilities in Venmo possible, things in Robinhood, in PayPal. We're integrated into a few different uh, enterprise applications related to Google, related to Verizon, and related to Microsoft. We we're having availability difficulties related to the stack, the hosted MySQL stack of AWS Aurora that we were on. It was particularly manifesting in our largest, most critical services, so our tier zero services that had higher write throughput levels. We also had ongoing problems related to large database tables when we wanted to perform schema migrations. Instead of being able to recommend that client teams perform reasonable schema migrations, we would instead work with them for a couple weeks on cloned clusters, try to perform the changes more gradually with PTOSC or with Ghost as open source tools, and yet still be una unable to provide that capability to those client teams and instead give them horrible recommendations like, you should build an entirely new table because we know that's actually safe for you to do. We ended up going for TidyB for a few specific characteristics. So we were looking at the, the modern architecture of it, how it would handle horizontal sharding, um, what kind of no downtime or low downtime scenario service upgrades that would provide scaling out, things like that. Um, all of those led to be factors that faced into the proof of concept that we performed in Q2 of 2023. Um, and then in Q3 of 2023, we performed the RFC. We did the financial validation, the organizational buy-in, the headcount planning, and all the rest of that process. One of them is around being able to do upgrades with zero downtime. Um, that's not something that we were able to previously achieve on the former hosted MySQL that we were working with, uh, despite quite a bit of effort on our team to try to make that possible. The next beyond that would be certain scheme migrations that have been possible to apply to the very large tables. I'm defining very large tables here as things in the like two to 10 terabyte for a single table size. And at this point, we've been able to successfully apply some of those in production on IDB that we failed on before when we tried to do them with different techniques over on a uh, hosted MySQL.